Today on Tub World, we are replacing the front hood seal on a 1969 Volkswagen Beetle. It's a pretty straightforward and simple job, and you don't need many tools for it. Thanks so much for joining us today. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and share with your friends. It helps us grow and get the word out. Now let's get into the repair. See here, I've started to pull the old one away. Perfect time to get in there and clean and treat any surface rust you may have, which I'll be doing here uh, as we progress. I'll get the seal out, I'll get it all cleaned up, I'll treat that, and then I'll paint over it. Depending on how old and either brittle or soft the seal is will determine how easy it's going to be to remove it. This one's actually pretty still pliable, which if you pull on it, you can see it's still sliding the groove. You pull stretch and it just will pull right out as long as you kind of pull it tight. And Stretch it. Get right out of there. All right. Sometimes getting this seal out is difficult if it's really dry. This one is on this side is. A little bit more dry than the other but not as bad but what I've done is I've taken this little tiny pick tool and I've just stuck it back behind here and just pull the seal out as you can see it doesn't hit it's really small so it doesn't hit the uh, channel here or do any damage to it so I'm just sticking this behind here pulling it and I'm actually using two hands so I can't show you uh, with the camera I'm grabbing the rubber and pulling at the same time now that I've started it and pulled it out I can pull it just like the other side well, as you can see, the passenger side was a lot more brittle and difficult. It came off in little pieces, but uh, here we are. Well, it pulled off. Sorry for the fast uh, base there. So, need to be taking the top part off now. And that's also in another groove. This still seems soft enough, so I should be able to pull it right out. Um, although, it looks like it's breaking here, so. Yep. I'll try on the other side. Well, the other side didn't work any better, so it broke off. So we'll have to go and proceed and pulling the seal off the same way. Again, I can't show you on camera because I need both hands. Okay, I was uh, able to actually pull this. It's still a little soft. I got it all. It's a very good time if you own a late model Beetle to check the seal here for your airbox to your hood. Um, this needs to seal properly so you don't get any leaks in the trunk. Seals are still available pretty good aftermarket um, sometimes the seal will split in half and allow uh, possible leakage into the trunk here but um, <clears throat> if everything's going properly it's not all filled up with leaves in here which you can check um, you just want to make sure your drain which runs down here and there's a hose underneath here uh, make sure that hose is still intact and still draining properly okay so cleaning the dirt and all the that's in this channel here from the hood seal is very important. You got to make sure you don't have any rust here. If you do, make sure you clean it and you treat it. And we've got a little bit of surface rust here. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, just a lot of dirt in the channel. So I'm going to clean with some simple green and a little nylon brush. Like I said, once you get this all cleaned out, make sure it dries. If you've got to do any touch-ups, um, this side is not too bad. Actually, i got to do a little bit more cleaning in here, but um, there's a few little spots in there. Going to need some treatment and some touch-up paint. And like I said, once it's dry, do your rust treatment, your touch-up paint, and then you'll be ready to install the seat. Okay, we did the rust proofing and I did some touch up paint just by brushing here just to, to clean it up. Give you kind of a little view of what it 
looks like. And I also did some cleaning inside the hood. It was dirty um, from uh, overspray from rust proofing. But now I'm ready to put the new rubber seal in. Okay, I said it before. If you're going to replace the hood seal, spend the extra money, the extra few dollars, and get the German seal or at least the seal that has the long tabs on it. You will not be sorry. Trust me. The time you will save and installation is worth the extra money. So I've got the seal laying out on the roof of the car just to get it warm from the sun so it'll be a little more pliable, easier to install. The hardest part about doing this seal a lot of times is this back groove because you're going to have to try to get the seal lip underneath and inside the groove and also make the ends line up properly. I spray a little WD-40 in the grooves and then I put the seal in there and sometimes I have to work it with a really small screwdriver or a pick tool or a plastic tool. I have a couple of tools here, small pick tool, a wedge tool that's plastic. And I'll see if I can show you when I'm working on it. But like I said, I'm not, I'm holding the camera so I need to. You bought a seal that's got the short uh, little nibs on here. My prayers are with you because as you can see the area to work in, is quite small to get in there. Even if you get some pliers, it's gonna be tough. Now, granted, if the if you're just doing a restoration, you don't have hood hinges on, you don't have the hood, things would be a lot easier and you could use that seal. So, when installing the seal here, um, you know, you can lube this up a little bit if you want. I wouldn't lube it up too much because you wanna be able to get a grip on it. But the little tabs, come through the back it's kind of hard to see because of the light but what I do here is I'll usually get a little thin pair of needle nose so I can grab back in here and grab them and I'll gently pull on them while pushing from the outside so that these tabs come through you don't want to do too hard because you can break them off and then that defeats the purpose of this sealing properly here the seal when you're installing the seal up here, if you can stretch it, you see this, and push on it at the same time, many times you don't need to use even any type of a tool to get it under there. You get the seal pushed in, once you get the seal pushed in, um, you'll be able to tell from the outside if it's even or not. If you see it poking out or poking in in any area here, you'll know you need to adjust it. A lot of times it. when you put the seal in, um, after you get the corners in, it's going to be a little bit too long or it'll seem like it'll be too long. So you're just gonna wanna kinda push the rubber like this and you'll just move it along so that it kinda evens out. And then everything will line up and fit fine. Now we're off to the end here. So what I always do with this is I just take this seal and I'll lube it up some WD-40 and I'll pull it insert it right in the end here and I'll pull it all the way down the car until we get down to the middle here now these seals are extra long you don't want to cut them until you're done as you can see here I'm just sliding it in and when you get down here you're gonna have to make sure that it goes into the next channel so over the finger there. Once you do that, you'll be able to pull it, take up the slack. You also want to make sure that you double check that there's no leftover seal stuck in the channel. There actually was a little piece right there that I didn't get out. You want to make sure that everything is seated really nicely in here. It's not bunched up and it does its job to channel any water out. Now if you can see down here, look how long it is. So we'll be channeling the other side and this will just pull out to give it some space and then we'll trim it as necessary. Okay, so both sides of the seal are in and as you can see, here we are in the center. You can see how long it is. Um, what I'll be doing is I'll be trimming. And when you do trim this, 
trim it long. You maybe start here, um, maybe start down here, and just try to get it so that you end up with no gap because you can always cut more off, but you can't cut less off if you've already cut too much. But other than that, we're good to go. The seal's in. Just needs a little final pushing and adjustment just to get it to lay right and just have a nice snug seal again. And this is the finished end. You can see here, it's spliced together down there. And we're looking good. The real final step will be cutting the ends of the seal to create a V-knot shape as seen in this before photo. This will allow any water in the hood to drain out properly and keep it from rusting. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Only with your support will this channel be able to grow and reach other Volkswagen enthusiasts around the world.